Welcome to this Patterns and Practices short video where I will go a bit deeper into the various ways you have to authenticate towards your tenant. So after you have installed the PNP commandlets <clears throat> and you're ready to connect to your tenant and uh, if you use it the first time you will most likely enter the connect PNP online commandlet. You specify the URL and if you press enter right now you see the, you get a notification for your credentials. So I could enter my, uh, my username here and my password. From that moment on, I'm authenticated against the site and I can issue all kinds of PMB commandlets like retrieve the list, etc., etc., etc. So this works fine, but it becomes a bit tedious if you want to repeat this. Um, another um, issue you have with this is if you build your own script that you want to use in automation, like for instance, run a scheduled task every five minutes or every hour. Um, you you cannot handle a pop-up prompt there because yeah you're automating it you run it it's somewhere in the background so um, a possible scenario there would be this that you include the username and the password in your script but obviously uh, that's not the most secure solution um, someone gets hold of the script and you have uh, you shared your password so um, the the approach there is is relatively simple. Um, but it requires that you run uh, on, a, on a, obviously on a Windows machine, but yeah, the PowerShell command does only work on Windows currently. So um, the solution is there to use the Windows Credential Manager. So if you launch the Credential Manager in Windows, it's located in the control panel. But if you're on Windows 10, uh, the easiest way to do it is just launching the start menu and type Credential Manager. Here's the Credential Manager. And what you do here is you create a credential uh, that you want to use uh, with the PNP commandlets. So you, you switch to Windows credentials and then you say add a generic credential. Now there's two approaches you can follow here. You can just enter a label and I'll do that first and then I'll do show you another way that is maybe even easier. But for now I'll just create a label and say uh, Erwin MCM which is the name of my tenant. Then you enter a username and you enter the password for that account. Now it's saved, you see there's an entry here uh, with that label. Now if I switch back to PowerShell, I can say connect PNP online, sharepoint.com, and then I specify credentials, and then I say Erwin MCM. What the PowerShell command will do now is that it will connect to the credential manager, retrieve those credentials, and use those uh, the information that's found in the credential manager to connect to the site. If I press enter, you see there's no prompt. I'm just automatically connected, and all the commandlets work. So this works uh, by uh, by means of specifying this label, like here. A maybe easier way to do it is by not specifying the label, uh, but if you go back to the credential manager and I say add a generic credential. And then I just enter an, an internet address here. So I enter the address of my tenant. And then again, the username and the password. You can play a bit with this address. So if I just, if I want to say, okay, you should only use these credentials for the site called test, then this will apply. But you can actually say, okay, so every site collection under the site's managed path, I want to use these credentials. So you can play a bit with this, with this URL here, effectively kind of a wildcard you can create here. But right now, <coughs> I'm sorry, you want to use this credential for every site within my tenant. I just enter the, uh, the, the host name of my tenant. Click OK. I can close the credential manager here. If I now connect to my uh, site, connect PNP online, and I say URL, sharepoint.com. I don't have to specify the credentials parameter. It will just automatically connect again to the credential manager, figure out what my username and password is, and am I authenticated? Um, the only thing you have to do right now is that if you change your password, you obviously will have to update the entry in the Windows Credential Manager. 
A thing to, to remember is that if you use this approach to automate uh, or create automation scripts, like at uh, scheduled tasks, then those tasks usually run under a different identity. Uh, it's important to understand that you have to use the credential manager for that specific identity, so that user. So you have to log in with that user account on the machine and then go to the credential manager and create the credentials there. Um, so it's not enough that you create it because every user has a, has their own credential manager. So um, in Windows. So this is an, a, a simple way uh, of uh, automating your scripts. Another thing I would like to explain is um, how to connect with the PowerShell command list if you use two-factor authentication. Um, in order to do that, you will have to use a different way of authenticating, and that is that you specify use web login. What will happen now if I press enter is that there will be a dialog pop up and you see that I already authenticated. And why um, am I authenticated right now? So if you do this the first time, you will see a dialog pop up and it will ask you to enter your username and a password. And then you will be challenged for the two factor for the second factor. So you will receive an, an SMS on your phone or whatever tech technique you use. And you confirm that. And then it will ask you if you want to stay authenticated, logged in. <coughs> Sorry. And if you say yes on that answer, it remembers that. Um, so there's not the PowerShell command list. They don't remember that. It's actually done by means of a cookie. So now you're authenticated automatically and as this, the effect is the same. It's a bit more complex to set this up if you want to do this automated, obviously. So for the um, automation approach where you want to schedule scripts at certain intervals, I would recommend you to use the Windows Credential Manager. That is the easiest way forward. This was a short introduction. Thank you.